tutorial is on Newton's method. More particularly, it's about how to use the TI Inspire CAS calculator to use a spreadsheet and apply Newton's method to find the roots of a function. Once again, here's the formula for Newton's method. And you can see in the formula, there's a number of things that we need to do. First of all, we need to define the original function that we're working with, f of x. Secondly, we have to find the derivative of that function. Thirdly, we have to divide them by each other. So we divide f of x by its derivative. And then finally, when we get this answer here, we subtract that answer from the relevant x value that we're using. We use this formula over and over again in each stage to work out our answers until we narrow in on our final solution. As I said before, this is a very time consuming process. It's really hard to do by hand and takes a long time, even with a scientific calculator. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the CAS calculator to help us. We're going to define the functions that we need to use and we're going to set up a spreadsheet. So with this formula, what we're going to do, first of all, on a calculator page, I'm going to define f of x. I'm going to define the derivative and then define it as g of x. I'm going to divide f of x by the derivative, g of x, and then define that as h of x. Next, I will subtract h of x from x and define it as i of x. So altogether, I need to define four functions, f of x, g of x, h of x, and i of x. Finally, we then need to spread up, set up a spreadsheet page and set up the columns in our spreadsheet. Remember that the function that we're using in this example is x cubed minus x minus 1. We're going to use Newton's method to find the root of this function. Now remember, in a graphical sense, we're actually finding the x-intercept of the function. We're going to define f of x, g of x, h of x, and i of x. We're then going to set up our spreadsheet and use it to complete each iteration or stage and then narrow down to our final answer. And remember, our starting value for this exercise is x is equal to 1. OK, so let's get started. What we need to do first is go to the home page and open up calculator page. It's on the calculator page that we're going to define all our functions. So we open a calculator page and we're ready to go. Now the first thing I want to do is to, to define f of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to put in my function, which is x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1. Now I have to call this function f of x and define it as that. So the way I do that is to now go to control bar and I'll get a little arrow symbol like that and now just simply put in f of x, f bracket x and then hit enter. You should get a done message like that. That's telling me that it's all worked and the calculator now has x cubed minus x minus 1 stored as f of x. Now secondly, we're going to now find the derivative and store that as g of x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to menu, I'm going to go to 4 calculus, and then number 1 derivative. 
and I'll get this template up. I'm going to put X in the denominator first and then I'm going to go to inside the bracket and I'm going to put in F of X because that's already been defined. So I'm simply going to put in F bracket X. Okay, now I go to the end of the expression and I want to define that as G of X. So again, I do control and var and then put in G of X. So G bracket X, hit enter, and now that's done too. Now I want to define H of X. H of X is F of X divided by G of X. So I'm going to do that. So first of all, I'm going to do F bracket X, go to the end of the expression, divided by, and then in a bracket, I'm going to put G of X. So I'm going to have G bracket X, go to the end, and store that as H of X. So I hit Control and VAR, and I put in H of X, H bracket X. Hit Enter, and that's done too. Finally, I have to do I of X. Now remember, I of X is X minus F of X over G of X. So I'm going to put in X minus now, f of x divided by g of x, I have called h of x. So I am going to minus h of x now. So h bracket x. Okay, go to the end of the expression and now store that and call it i of x. So hit control and var and go to i bracket x. Okay, hit enter, and that's done too. We've now defined our four functions, so now I need to go to my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back to home, and now I'm going to click on lists and spreadsheets here. And now I've got that there. So now I need to set up my columns. I go to the second row here in the A column and I'm going to tell the calculator to put my X values in this column. I do this by hitting equals and then I put X in and I hit enter. I'll get this message, just hit OK and that works. Notice how we've now got two square brackets next to the X. That's perfectly normal. That's what we want the calculator to do. Now, let's go to this cell in column B. In this column, I want the calculator to put X into F of X. So now what I'm going to do is hit equals again, and I'm now going to put in F of X. So I've got F bracket X. Hit enter, I'll get this message again, hit OK, and that's done too. Go to the third column, hit equals again. In this column, I want to tell the calculator to work out G of X for me. So now I'm going to put in G of X, hit enter, click OK, and now that's in. Go to the next column, the D column, and now I'm going to put in H of X. Hit equals, put in H of X, H bracket X, hit enter, click on OK, and that's done. Finally, I have to do one more column, so I hit this arrow, go to the next column, the E column, and I'm going to put I of X in here. So I'm going to hit equals, I'm going to put in I of X, okay, hit enter, click OK, and that's done. Now, I have set up my five columns.
and I've put my formulas in. I'm now going to go back to the start, my first column, column A, and I'm going to go to A2, this column here. Now, in this cell, I want to put in the answer that I got at the end of the first row. Now, this cell here is E1. I want the calculator to take whatever is in this cell and put it into this cell. Now, to do that, all I need to do is hit equals and tell the calculator to put in E1. So I hit E and I hit 1. OK, and I hit enter. Click OK again, and that's done. Now, I have actually set up everything I need to set up. All right. The only thing I need to do now is I need to tell the calculator that what I want the calculator to work out in each of these cells. So in this cell, I'm going to tell the calculator equals, and I'm going to ask it to work out F of, and it's going to be A1. This is telling the calculator to take what's in this cell here, this is A1, and put it into F of X, substitute it in and work out F of X. I do the same thing for this one over here and ask it to set, to substitute A1 into G of X. So I hit equals, I put in G of A1, hit enter, I'll get this message like I did the first time, just click OK and that's done. Now go into the D column, same thing equals, this time I'm going to put in h of x, h of a1. Hit enter, click OK, that's done. Finally, last column here, what we're going to do is again, equals, this time I'm putting in i of E1, sorry, A1. <laughs> okay, hit enter, click OK. That's done too. Now, we're ready to start. Now, I know this probably seemed very time consuming, but once this spreadsheet is set up, you can use it over and over again. So now I'm going to put my starting value for X in A1. And that is one. Okay, hit enter. See how the calculator instantly calculates the values in column B1, C1, D1, and E1. Now, I want the calculator to fill up the rest of the columns. And this is how I do it. Okay, I highlight this cell. I go to menu. I go to, to data and I go to fill. I then pull it down. That many will do. Now, there are no numbers in there yet, only these little dashes. That's okay though, it will fill up. Go up to here, menu, data, fill, pull it down, done. This one, menu, data, fill, pull it down, done. Okay, next one, menu, data, fill, down. And go across, do the last one. Now this is when it will all happen. Menu, data, fill, go down, and it is full. You can see here now, here are the results of all of my iterations, 1.5, 1.347, 1 
and my answer comes down here.